Loke, Brighton, Lotha in Oxblood. Now I'll get this nice and close to the screen. This is their Oxblood. It's a very deep burgundy, like a wine colour. Let me get that in nice and close to see if I can get the angle right so you can get the colour in there. I think you can see it. It's what I call a continual shade. Um, unlike the Villas Disjunction ones which have a sort of an Oxblood um, you know, mix, this is just kind of one shade. Again, this is quite a picture. I've got a, a, a 12 of all things in front of you. So let me just take you through some bits. Uh, the thing with Logue, as you could probably appreciate, they are built to last. I mean, I'm trying to bend that. That's taking some, can you see? some serious effort to bend. This is a heavy shoe that's going to last you ages. Um, some of the detailing. Let's get it nice and close. Here we go. Beef roll. The beef roll is incredibly well stitched. I don't know if you can see, but it's stitched over. It's really smooth. I mean, I'm running my hands over that, and it's it's not catching. Not like um, a normal tassel over. Um, what's also interesting is you come down, you've got the tassel as you would expect, the feathers. I think the feathers on this are a little bit longer than some of the others to see. Now the detailing I like about this particular one, I don't know if you can see here, but can you see on this rim here, on the link, they actually tuck this over. So if you look at other loafers, this is just cut and is part of the, the material, whereas they've obviously cut this and tucked it under and glued it, so it's really smooth. I think that's a nice bit of detailing. Um, coming back, let me just come back a bit so you can see the shoe. The rest of the shoe is reasonably standard. In terms of to wear, they're a heavy shoe alone. You, you know you've got them on the feet. Um, that said, they also take a while to uh, wear in, but they're going to last you ages. As, as I think you can find elsewhere on the site, you know, Friends of mine have had them literally since the 80s. Um, I don't think there's anything else to tell you. So that's a Loke Brighton in Oxblood.